Let's now move on to authorized causes, specifically that of retrenchment. Retrenchment is a mode of reducing personnel to prevent or minimize business losses and thus protect and preserve the employer's viability. Retrenchment is usually adopted because of actual or anticipated losses, lack of work, seasonal fluctuations, reduction in the volume of business, shortage of materials, recession, lulls occasioned by lack of orders, or industrial depression. For a retrenchment program to be valid, the following substantive requisites must be complied with. Number one, the retrenchment must be done to prevent losses. The losses could be actual or expected. Expected losses must be reasonably imminent and substantial as perceived by the employer. Actual or anticipated losses should be substantial and not de minimis. Otherwise, an employer can easily feign excuses to suit its whims and prejudices or rid itself of unwanted employees. Number two, fair and reasonable criteria must be used in determining who would be dismissed and who would be retained. Usually, the principle of last in first out is applied, all things being equal. Other factors may also be considered such as efficiency, physical fitness, age, financial hardship for certain workers, or status of employment that is temporary, casual, regular, or managerial employees. And three, the retrenchment must be a last resort and after less drastic means have been tried and found wanting or insufficient. Less drastic measures include rotation of workers, going on reduced time, improving manufacturing efficiencies, trimming manufacturing and advertising costs, or reducing of bonuses and salaries of management and rank-and-file employees.